Okay, so let's move on to the D shape. <clears throat> we have four notes, actually five notes of dotted notes in the key of D, not the D shape, the key of D. The E is the second of the key of D. The G is the fourth of the key of D. The A dot note is the fifth of the key of D. The B is the sixth. The C sharp is the seventh of the leading tone to the key of D. So if someone was saying, um, let's play in the key of D, from the G dot here, the first G, you can either play that as the outer note, okay, of a D shape, or you can play it as the second note in a C shape, all right, because we're, we're going to be do, using the outer, the inner, or the half, the half step note the inner half step note here in the C shape. So you can play it as any one shape, any of three shapes, the D shape, the C shape, but you can't play it as the A shape there. So let's look at the A dot, it might be a little simpler. You can play it as the inner note in the A shape, the, the fifth, the A, or you can play it as the outer note of the C shape. So from that A, and I know this is actually an F sharp, but from that A, we can play our A shape. Okay, so there's our A. Or we can play it at that A as the outer note of a C shape. There's our C shape D right there. Okay, so in the A shape, our um, our A shape D would be uh, should be right here. All right, that's the A shape D. All right, here's the D shape D down here. Here's the C shape D is. Okay, so we can use outer and inner notes. It's more versatile now. All right, so looking at the five, six, we can definitely do our A shape there. Starting from the B dot, we can do a G shape. We can run a G shape on that uh, G shape D. These are all key of D, so it's gonna be a G shape D. All right, or we can use the seventh in an E shape, starting from the seventh there, that would be uh, from the C sharp dot. We can run a, a diatonic, we can run a Locrian off of the C, of the C um, sharp dot there. All right, now I know this is gonna come out of B flat, but on the C sharp dot here, we can run a Locrian there, which would be Locrian would actually be, you know. But we could pretty much run an E shape there from the C sharp dot, or we can use that C sharp dot as part of the G shape. You know, if you had nothing better to do, okay, but pretty much you'd want to use the E shape there. So the C sharp dot would be a, an entry to the E shape. Let's move along to the E flat. And remember the E flat, guess what? E flat only has one note also, as the, uh, we also only had one note with the D flat. It only has one dotted note, and that's G, because you know that E flat, uh, G is the third of E flat. So how would we play that? Let's look, let's zoom in on that G dot. We can you stop. We can use that G dot there 
as the third in so we could use the C shape there or we could use it as the outer half note the outer middle outer half note in the D shape so it'd be easier to uh, to use the C shape there which would be three four five remember this is the key of E flat now so the key of, of E flat is like uh, this okay so that would be your C shape There's a C shape D flat right there. All right, so that would be the fifth right there. That's why that sounds good. So if you're doing a C shaped root, what uh, what are we going to get on the fifth? A G shaped fifth. You no, know, so that would be you'd get a G shape there. That's a G shape B flat. And you go to that C shape D flat there. You do a G shape um, pentatonic there. If you go on to sit there and fumble and get the, the chord. So that's that we use the G dot is the third and I don't know if it's still in the, in the buffer but I had a keyboard in the buffer here uh, no it is not still in the buffer okay so here's our keyboard again and it has our G flat there so in the key of E flat I call it E flat we've got so E flat is E flat F G and that's our only dot because then we go to A flat B flat remember E flat fourth of E flat is A flat the fifth is B flat as we said the sixth of E flat is C C minor okay the seventh is D half diminished and up to E flat again so G minor is the Phrygian minor of E flat and that's the only dot that we have there for the um, key of E flat. If we play around the G dot, we'd use we could use the D shape there. Um, so F would be the second. I know this F would come out a dang um, D, but so out where the F label is here, you know, you know, F would be right here. Uh, it would be a two, three, four. Okay, so it'd be it'd be the you know the minor. If you're using all E shapes, um, so you could do that, and the uh, G dot would be right there. It'd be the second there, there right, up here with the uh, key of E flat. So you'd start out if you see the dot there, you know that's going to be the second. G is the second, um, excuse me, it's going to be the third, rather. And in the D shape, so the D shape starting on the second, you could play your D shape. Two, three, four. The fifth of D, if you want to go upward, or you want to go up in caged, D goes to C. So it's two, three, four, three, four, five. A shape is uh, five, six. All right, G shape is six, seven root in caged. You know, you can do that, or you can go up, up in uh, the string circle in fifth. But you're going up from down there. <laughs> okay, um, that's a good thing about being down there. You can only go up. The key of E. The key of E is got four dots. It's got root, okay. The fourth of E is A. The fourth of uh, the fifth of A is B, and the sixth is C sharp. That works out really nice. So, 
you can imagine all the things you could do with the key.